Okay guys, we've got the first uh, of the 50 over games is taking place here at Cheltenham against North Hants. Um, what are the different challenges of playing uh, the 50 over format um, and what are your sort of ambitions as a team this season in that competition? I think the way the, the season's set up this year with four days and 2020s kind of mixed together, uh, the challenge won't be so much or so great, you know, moving from the four day pitch to the one day matches. Uh, for, for us, we're really targeting this, this sort of format as uh, something that we can win. I think we, we are a well balanced team uh, to take two new balls and also the batters to, to make, make sure we, you know, we bat for the full 50 and, and really capitalise on those power plays. Uh, it's going to be a new new sort of challenge because it's uh, a format that we haven't really played. Although you know we played Pro 40 and, and um, it's, it's a similar sort of skills that, that you take into that sort of game. Um, I think we got North Hans first up, uh, which should be a great challenge. Uh, and that's probably at the back of the, the Cheltenham Festival, so the, the wicket will be real flat and the outfield real fast. So expect high scores um, and, and lots of sixes and fours. And Gareth, I guess last time you would have played. Uh, sort of a serious amount of 50 over cricket was probably when you were in Cheltenham um, as the, the pro at Cheltenham Cricket Club. Are you looking forward to getting back into a, a 50 over game? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's good. I mean, I play a few 50 overs when I go back to South Africa. Uh, it's a club format out there, so I mean, not entirely you know, the format new to me, but it's uh, a white ball, so it'd be nicer to face than a red ball playing 50 over cricket. You know, but coming back to Cheltenham is always good, you know, see old faces, uh, see old friends, and um, you know, always embrace the festival. Go stroll around the, stroll around the outfield for an ice cream or two during the festival, and uh, no, take it all in. I think uh, it's definitely our favourite part of the season and can't wait for it.